Hi everyone, this reading is for Pisces. It's from February 10th to February 29th of 2020. And I, before I start, I want to let you know I'm holding the camera in my hand. I don't have a tripod, but if you would like to donate so I can get some better equipment, because I really have some bad equipment, you guys. I'm thankful for what I have, but... That's why I have so much difficulty making videos. It's just I have old stuff and I'm trying to make do with it. Anyways, I am open for readings. My paintings, there's one of my paintings that's not done yet, but you know, I always show my paintings in my videos. If you would like to buy a painting, also you can just make me an offer. I mean, anything, I don't care. I'm just happy to sell my paintings and have them go out into the world. Um, I'm open for readings. Please like, comment, subscribe. This is for Pisces. I've always already laid out the cards because I don't like it when I watch videos and I see, you know, three minutes are spent just on shuffling. So I know look, some people love to see the shuffling. I just don't love that. So what I have, I haven't looked at any of these cards yet. So it's just as exciting for me as it is for you. What I have laid out here is a general reading. So it could go in the direction of love. But I always set the intent that the most important message that the collective is that are watching need to hear. Okay? So it could go in the direction of love. It could go in the direction of money. This card is the major theme of your life from the 10th to the 29th. This is how it will play out. And this is your power animal card. And it's the most important message that you need to hear. That if you listen to this, will lead you to your very best life from the 10th to the 29th. And these are my new cards. I just got them today. And they are gorgeous, you guys. I might do a review of them. I just love it everything about them okay so we'll dive right in here you guys oh i love it okay so you got it your reading is already telling me that there are gifts around you to me that really is peace this man up here represents some wisdom there's some gifts around you there's a gift being given to you and it I'm sorry, folks, I had to change cameras because that one just ran out. That's what I mean by the crappy equipment because there's not even, I didn't even, there's nothing even on that camera, but it's just my life. Anyways, so it doesn't necessarily mean that gift in a box. It means even if you are going through a hard time right now, you there's a gift in it if you look for it, okay? It has value, and no matter how difficult a situation that you're going through, tiger lilies, I used to, when my daughter was little, I would, every time I saw a tiger lily, I would take it and go, rah, and she would laugh. So I just feel something magical, magical. So that's the lining up the energy of what the rest of this reading is going to talk about. So here you are right now, Pisces, and... Maybe you are going through some challenges. This is about taming the beast. The strength card. It's a very... You're starting off your reading with a major arcana. I just did a reading for Gemini. And they started off their reading with a major arcana. And I've been noting as I'm watching readings that there's so many major arcanas coming up. Which means like... You're on a path of destiny, you know what I mean? When And it's the strongest energy in the reading. So it's something to do with taming the beast within or taming a beast within your life. But it's also about using feminine charms over using the ego self, okay? You're using energy from the feminine side of the brain. So I love that. There's some situation in your life that you're trying to tame. And like what I said right at first, and isn't it funny? So I said the tiger literally and went, Rawr, and here's that lion right there. So, and I also said that if you're going through a hard time, there is a gift in it. So with this opening with the strength card, I think there is 
somewhat of a hard energy around you. You know, that lion can be pretty ferocious, but you get that lion eating out of your hand and you being beckoned to be strong. But Pisces, I feel right now with this being the first card that you are, you have gotten the message already that you there's something within you or around you that needs to be tamed in a very gentle way, okay? Do not try to use force, okay? And then crossing your path is a four of swords. So those are very interesting together because, you know, you got your mother Mary watching over you. I feel strength, things that take strength make us also tired. So I feel like Pisces right away, this is lining up a situation that has been difficult for you. Now we'll see what the difficulty is as we go on. But with this card crossing your path, it tells me from now to the 30th, you could call on Mother Mary to help you. Okay, that's very important. Whether you're Catholic or Christian or not, Mother Mary is just an ascendant master who wants to help us all. And she's very similar to this lady on here, okay? It's using feminine strength, okay? So there's a real message of feminine energy, feminine power. This is the warrior. This is coming from that lion side, the masculine side of the brain. It's like he's lost the fight. He's had to put the sword down. So he, you've already somewhere in your life, Pisces, already got the download or gotten the message that fighting is not going to win this situation, okay? That you need to take a whole different approach, okay? So next we have for you the magician. And Pisces just got this card in the exact same spot. I'm seeing the magician, the alchemist show up for many people so it looks like to me that you're trying to turn a situation in your favor a situation that might have involved some ego and some fighting and you're taking a different approach and you're playing to win okay which i like pisces okay i like this that this now we're going to see how the rest of this energy plays out in the recent past it feels like to me that you received some sort of message that affected you emotionally. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit of clarity on this. A little bit, give us a little bit of clarity for this. And I'm clarifying with these cards here. I don't know the name of them, but I love them. Let's clarify. You got the Eight of Pentacles, you got an Eight here. Something that you put some work into that you got a message about. It could be about work. It could be about your money. But to me, this is just a card of you put a lot of energy, a lot of focus into something that didn't pan out the way you thought. That brought you some news of an emotional level. That's passing. That's in the past. Okay, so let's see. Oh my goodness. But you know, Gemini, if you just watch the reading I uploaded right before this, they got this exact, these two cards in the exact same spot. So the strength, the rest, manifestation, this news has propelled you to a very strong position in life. So... I would say Pisces over the next week of your life, I'm going to say from today is the 10th, the 10th to the 17th, you are in a very strong position, okay? Very, very, very strong position in your life. Um, you're able to achieve and you are achieving some monetary gain, some good reputation. You're powerful. Your manifestation is coming true. 
You are able to stand independently on your own. Now, this card often talks about that the fact that she's lonely in her powerful world, which could be, but I'm not reading this as that. I'm reading it as you're happy to be so powerful, okay? You've earned it. You've been working hard at it. And you are willing to change your stance from being aggressive and fighting and being caught up into an ego realm to being a, a lot more soft. And it has paid off for you, Pisces, okay? Whoa, how is this happening? Because Gemini got this card too. They didn't get it in this exact position, but they got this card. So you got two nines in a row. You got the eight, an eight. So a progression in your life. But we got two interesting cards of very strong people. It looks like to me, the feminine is winning. And this is the warrior here that's needing to rest. But now this warrior is rested. Now look at him. Woo! Just take a look at that, girls. Guys, everybody. Okay, that warrior is now rested. And he has gotten himself in some good shape there. Okay? And she's probably looking just as fine underneath all those robes, okay? So here we have two really powerful energies, and I find it so interesting. Because there's those two energies right there. But now they're manifesting. They came together in a way that they put down those swords, and they focused on taking a different path, Pisces. You focus on taking a different path. And it has worked out very well for you. You are in a very strong position right now. Okay? To get whatever it is you want out of life. Apply this to whatever circumstance is going on in your life. Whoever is watching right now. Okay? This is powerful for me. Your masculine and feminine side. Whether it's within you or people in your life. There's an equal balance. Two people who have become very, very strong and powerful. Okay? And you got a warrior here that's ready to go to battle for you. Okay? So, if you're resting and trying to manifest, boy, you are going to do it. You are going to be very well rested and that's coming very rapidly that energy is moving into your life now and will be with you for the next two weeks okay Woo! your hopes and fears and with this card someone is bringing you something someone powerful is giving you a gift the gift that i'm talking about but this is what's subconsciously propelling you forward the desire to be financially stable but to be awarded something so perhaps some of you are going to court or you've you've had some sort of fight with something maybe someone at your work you decided to take a different path but your end goal and what your subconscious mind is very much working with you. So the reason for this position is to, if you can see if your subconscious mind is being negative and causing, going against you. But this is very in the positive. You are hoping for some sort of gain, recognition, power, physical, earthly gain. That, oh my goodness, Gemini, I got this too. And I shuffled these cards so good, you know. But, yeah, I mean, you got so many of the same cards, but you got them in different positions. So we got two kings in a row. We got two warriors. We got the lion. So there's a lot of different masculine energies here, okay? So this can represent an actual physical man in your life. Or a situation where females are being called to have 
take a leadership role, but it can also be the feminine and masculine side of your own brain and of your own life. But with these two kings and these two wars, you got a lot of good energy going for you right now. I do not see a big fight here. What I see is a lot of power, okay? Uh, what I see is someone who, like I said, decided to take a different road. They decided to take the path of love instead of the, and to put down the fight. And because they did that, and they decided to focus their energies on what they could do, what good energy could they put on this situation? What could they visualize in their mind? How could they turn things around without having to behave in an aggressive warrior way? And that stance served you well, Pisces. You are just doing super duper duper amazing here. Now, let me go back to where I was. Now, this others around you others around you so we have this very powerful male energy around you and what what is his purpose in your life what is this person's purpose they're fiery fiery and they got the lions so it could be a leo you guys they're fiery and they're aggressive. It could be a boss. There's somebody that you wanted to get something from that you decided to. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm just blown away because Gemini got the exact same card as a clarify for the exact same thing. So if someone around you was in a funk, they have come out of that now, Pisces. And their fire energy, you know. So, you know, there is a, a, a energy of two people that were fighting. But somehow that situation has been tamed. And both parties are now very, very strong. Okay. Giving off very strong energies. But this is interesting because this is your advice. Okay. Here... You're putting the swords down. You're turning to an ascendant master, beautiful feminine Mother Mary, who was all about love. And now you're being told to go within. But I think you've already done that. But you're being advised to keep doing that. Work with the moon phases. I think we're at a full moon now. And we'll have probably a new moon by the by during this reading as well. You're told to work with the energies of the moon and to go within. Don't make any decisions. Keep going with this type of energy, okay? And keep yourself away, okay? Keep yourself away. You don't need to make any decisions right now. You're being told, stay away, but keep going with Letting intuition guide you. Letting feminine energies rule you. Let the, the pull of the water and the magnetic pulls of the moon and the rhythms of earth and that beautiful fiery sunrise that we see coming up in the background and that we see here. Just let the rhythms of life take care of things and you step back, okay? You're not getting involved in a physical level you're getting involved at a spiritual level okay so keep going that way pisces because you're very very gifted in that area okay so your final outcome by the 29th where all this is going to be at because again i'm going to say you're in a situation that has a gift in it and I think the gift is learning. Like, you learn, wow, look how I can affect things when I change my energy or change my approach. Wow. And there's just really so much powerful energy here. Ooh. 
and Gemini got this too. How did this happen, you guys? Gemini and Pisces, you guys got almost the same cards, but in different positions. So Ten of Cups, nine, nine to a ten. Come uh, progression, okay? So eight, nine, ten. So if you were in a bad situation, which you were, there was something that needed you to take a different approach, that situation is going to be resolved. By the 29th, you... The two people involved, the peoples involved, are going to be in a much better place. You have charmed the pants off of them, Pisces. And emotionally, you could not be happier. It shows me a wish fulfilled for you. But your secret is to keep doing what you've been doing. Don't get aggressive. Don't get on the phone. Don't be texting. Don't be angry. You're not going to put any anger issues or devil energy or ego energy onto this situation whatsoever and that is your biggest gift in this and you're going to be looking back and say wow how did I do that I just made a, a different choice I decided to change my energy and apply different energy to this situation and Bam, I didn't really do anything. I mean, I sat at home alone, just connecting with spirit. And wow, look what I did. I changed this person's life and I changed this person's life. And look, wow, one big happy family. Now, Pisces, for your last card, you have the phone is ringing. Okay. You guys, with this card, I asked the most important message that you needed to hear for your life. That if you listen to this, will lead you to your very best life. I pulled it from my new deck that I love. This is gorgeous, you guys. And it, it's not even an expensive deck. Like where I live, tarot cards are like 50 bucks plus tax, which is bring them up to 60. I find ridiculous, you guys. So this I got, I think... $25 and I just find every single card in here just gorgeous so listen up now you heard it already in this card okay you are working through deep soul patterns release any outdated beliefs that surface I love it I love it I love it I love it, okay? And these are very intuitive creatures. I mean, they're so amazing, the bat. So your power animal right now, from now to the end of the month, Pisces is bat. And I think bat is very connected to Pisces energy because Pisces, you know, you guys are just picking up vibes everywhere, you know? And these bats are all about echolocation and that they have a special thing that they can do that just, picking up vibes all the time and they're just so mysterious and so beautiful so keep in mind that anytime you see a bat from now to the 29th it's bringing you back to this message of listening up okay and you're to release any outdated beliefs that surface so again I'm brought back to that whole thing for you Pisces that you're through this the situation of whoever is watching, the situations you are going through, especially if they were difficult, has taught you that, wow, this is all I needed to do? How effective was this? You know what I mean? Listen up. So I'm going to read from the book for you. I don't normally read from books. I don't like it, but this is a very new deck for me, and the book has a lot of really good information. So I'm going to read from it. Listen, you, the bat is the garden of the night and symbolizes rebirth in, to many. He flies in to let you know that change is coming. Fast-moving change that some could interpret as rebirth. Your higher self will come knocking, so be ready to answer the call. I think you already answered the call when I see this. It could be a change in any aspect of your life, but it's a change you have needed and maybe been asked in the universe for for some time. So that's not really what I get, that there's some big change. 
But there certainly is a change in how you approach things and how you continue to approach things now that you know the effectiveness of this power. Because you weren't able just to cause yourself to be prosperous, but you were also able to cause other people to be prosperous and affect yet other people to bring more prosperity to you. Best use vibrational sound to communicate. See, that's what I was trying to express, just like a Pisces, you know. Work on the ways you give and receive communication. Yes. Yes. Make sure that you are clear and concise with what you would like in a gentle way. In a gentle way. Yes, you guys. I love the repeat message. Speak from the heart and have confidence in your voice. Okay, you guys. Just love it. Love it. Love it for you, Pisces. I just love it. Please comment, like, subscribe, you guys. Share my video. Let me know if it resonates. And peace out to y'all.